while many cyclists are left scratching their head as to what tire pressure they should use in their tires well i've got a surefire way that you can do at home to get that tire pressure right so let's roll that intro and let's get into it Well, in general, from my interaction with other cyclists and even myself before I wised up, tend to run their tyres at too high a pressure. Now, what this can cause, it can cause a harsher ride and also premature tyre failure because you're putting a lot more stress on the tyre, especially at, with the wider tyres and you're pumping them up to too high a PSI. They just can't handle it. So how do you, how do you fix this and how is there a way at home without any special tools you can work out what is the right pressures to set that tire at. So this is how I set my tires up for my experience and you don't need any special tools. What you do is, is you start at quite a high pressure, say 100 to 120 PSI for your normal older style rims, but you may need to check your rim and your tire for maximum PSI because you don't want to go above the manufacturer's specifications. And you start at that high pressure and then you go out for a ride on the road surface that you normally ride on you typically that the style okay. that you generally mostly use and then you feel that there'll probably be like micro vibrations coming through your backside and through your hands then stop and lower the pressure by about 5 to 10 psi and see if those vibrations are still there and then you keep lowering it until those micro vibrations just go away and it feels like it's just smooth you do feel the bigger bumps, obviously, but when you're actually riding on the surface, when there's no damage to the tarmac or to the footpath, it feels like you're just kind of gliding along and then you just feel the, the bigger imperfections like the reinforcement cracks in the curbs or, or some undulation or crack or tree root that may be in the path. What I really like about this method is it takes into account the rider's weight it takes into account the tire diameter and it takes into account the road surface you're riding on. Whilst if you look at charts, it only takes into account the rider's weight and the tire diameter. Now, of course, you may be riding on something like Hot Mix, which is very smooth, which I generally ride on, or you could be riding typically on what they call Chipsy, which is where they put the tire down, they put the stones on top. And that's a lot rougher and harsher road surface. So then you're actually setting up the tire specifically for that lower right, that, that rougher ride surface and the pressure is adjusted accordingly. Now just as a guide, I'm 85 kilos and usually ride with a backpack, so it's probably a little bit more than that. And I run tubular Velaflex tires that are 23 millimeter. And in the front, I run them at 80, and at the back, I run them at 90. And that gives me that really nice feel without it being too harsh. So that's just a bit of a guide, but remember, Different tyres are different. So if you're running something like K tubeless, they have a much harder casing. GP4000s and GP5000s have a harder casing. Mine are a cotton casing. So you need to, this is where um, general weight pressures really don't work because you've got so many variables. Well, anyway, guys, if you have any questions about what I do and how I set it up, just leave them down in the comments below. Or if you've got any comments in general that uh, how you do it and you get the best ride for yourself, let us all know. And that is where I'm going to leave it. Catch you next vid. Cheers.